Good morning. Uh, I've already been out and about today. That's why I'm a little bit decent. Um, but I wanted to show you what I'm going to do today. Um, we're actually going to do macaroni and cheese. And before anybody tells me that everybody knows how to do macaroni and cheese, uh, let me tell you that 25 years ago, maybe even 30, I can't remember, I didn't. All I knew to do is buy a box and um, and uh, cook it like the direction said with the fake chemical um, cheese. And I hadn't done that in forever. My friend, uh, she was Diane Smith, she's Diane Whited now, um, invited us to dinner when we first joined our church and she shared how she made macaroni and cheese, and it was the best macaroni and cheese I had ever eaten. And I didn't know it came any other way than a box. So before you start complaining and saying everybody knows how to make macaroni and cheese, they don't, I didn't. So right now I'm cutting up okra. I just got out of the garden, well, I got out of the garden yesterday. And uh, I've got some green beans on. Let me show you. I've got them cooking some fresh green beans hope you can see them. Me and this tripod doesn't do too well. But anyway, they're simmering on the stove in the Dutch oven. And I've got some fresh eggs out of the uh, hen house. If you can see them. I never know what you're seeing. So, <clears throat> uh, I've already had to be out, like I said today. So I had to get dressed. So uh, Sweet Hunter is at the hunting land and uh, working and he'll be home after a while when it heats up because he won't stay when it's real hot. Plus he's got a lot of work to do here. Um, so right now what I'm doing is I'm cutting my okra up to get it in the oven because I've got to leave again here in a few minutes. And um, I'm gonna get it in the oven and uh, what I do with it, just real quickly, I cut up my okra, I roll it in cornmeal, toss it in cornmeal, and real heavy, uh, get a hot skillet going, iron skillet, and um, fry it till it's brown. And then I put it in the oven to finish it off while my cornbread's cooking. And that's what we're having today. We're having fried okra, green, fresh green beans, deviled eggs, and um, cream corn, and um, macaroni and cheese. And then tomorrow, I've got my meat laid out right here that I put up the other day when I bought my ground beef on sale. I've got it laid out, it's falling. And tomorrow, I'll do this same dinner, because we'll have leftovers. Um, but I'm going to mix together a meatloaf, and it'll cook while we're at church. And then all I have to do is warm it up, and then we can have a, a real restful, peaceful day tomorrow. So I'm going to finish this up, and then we'll put the macaroni and cheese on here in a few minutes. And uh, then Sweet Hunter will have a good hot meal when he gets home. And, um, and our Saturday cooking will be done. Okay, I've got my okra frying, and I'll let it get just a little bit browner than this, and then I'll put it in a preheated oven, and I cook my cornbread on 500, so it'll be a pretty hot oven, so when I leave in a few minutes, I'll just cut the oven off um, after the cornbread's done. You can also just cook this on the stove if you want to, no biggie. Okay, what I've done for the macaroni and cheese is I've got water boiling. It's fixing the boil. And I did maybe this pan, like I say, you know me, I don't measure. Uh, maybe, mm, I might be a little more than half full. So we're waiting on that to boil. And when it boils, I'll show you the next step. My water's boiling and I'm gonna mix up this cornbread real quick 
And for you that want to know how to make the cornbread, you can go to YouTube and look up Our Forever Farm, and you'll see my original video on there. Um, all I'm doing now is greasing the pan. And I'm just gonna make this real quick where it can go in the oven with the okra. And then next we'll do our macaroni and cheese. I spill it. I did. You know me, I'm a messy cook. So this is consistency before I add the water. I'm gonna run and add the water. My water's boiling for my macaroni. And the eggs are boiled. So this is ready to put in the oven when it preheats. And now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wash my hands and then we're gonna start the macaroni. Okay, my okra's brown enough to put in the oven and it's still preheating and that's fine. So I'm gonna stick it in the oven. Well, I guess I could show you what it looks like. And it won't take long enough for that to get done by the time the cornbread's done. My eggs have boiled for one minute, and then I put the lid on it and leave it. My uh, macaroni water is boiling good. So let's see how this will work out, me showing you what I'm going to do. What I have is, I hope you can see this, I've got Velveeta cheese and salt and pepper and butter and that's it i hope y'all can see that okay i hope you can see this the water's boiling i got my macaroni i just use elbow macaroni but if i don't have a elbow any kind of pasta is fine it works fine so again i don't measure let me get a measuring cup just to see is uh, not sticking together and I kind of feel like I need about mm, a smidgen more. Y'all know what a smidgen is, don't you? I hope y'all can see this, the lighting in here is, I have really good lighting but I feel like if I turn all the lights on it's going to be too bright. So I'm going to stir this around again and that water is going to get boiling again. We'll let that boil a minute. All right, five to seven minutes. You can just judge by looking at it. My uh, macaroni is tender, but it's probably not all the way done. It's probably been five to seven minutes. You'll notice I'm stirring now with the macaroni, but you'll notice that I don't stir in a few minutes. So let's go on to the next step. 
All right, this is so easy, y'all. The next step, and I doubt you can see this, but what I'm doing is cutting pieces of Velveeta cheese. Uh, this is bought Velveeta. I have made my own before, and I, I would rather make it, to be honest, because I know what's in it. Um, and again, this is not healthy. I'm cutting this up in just big chunks, and I can't tell you how much... I've got a half of a big stick of Velveeta here right now. Uh, I'm just cutting this up like this into good big chunks. My water's still boiling, and I'm putting it on the macaroni. I do a generous amount of, macro of uh, cheese because I love cheese. Yep, and don't complain because it's not healthy country. It's the way to do it. Alright, I've got a good pile of Velveeta there, if you can see it, on top of the macaroni, and the macaroni is about done. Uh, and then I'm going to start adding butter, just chunks of butter. And mine is real butter. I do not use margarine. Uh, I, I'm not the healthiest cook in the world. Um, and for this size pan, I'll probably use a whole stick. Three-fourths of a stick to a whole stick. And I'll just put it on there. Now, <clears throat> I'm not going to stir it. Well, I might need to stir it one time while it's boiling. Just a little bit to get your cheese and butter down in there. Not a big stir. A little more butter and if your water gets too dry because I'm telling you this is gonna after it gets through boiling you're gonna see it soaks up that the elbow macaroni soaks up the water um, so at this point I'm going to add some salt and pepper let me wash my hands <laughs> And I'm letting this boil just a couple of minutes. And like I say, if it if you think the water's too dry because you need more water in it than you think, you can add more water after the cheese melts. And all we're doing here, the elbow macaroni is uh, it is cooked, and all we're doing here is melting the butter and the the uh, Velveeta. Uh, the first time you do it, if your Velveeta doesn't all melt, uh, when you cook it for this minute or two, and that's all you're going to do, it, just maybe three minutes max, and do not let it get dry. Um, if it doesn't melt, it's fine. You can stir it up later and heat it up and add a little water. It's fine. So, mine is... Uh, Then I've got one piece of macaroni wanting to stick up in the top. And my, my uh, macaroni is sticking to the bottom a little bit. So all I'm going to do is stir it up where it won't stick to the bottom. I promise you there comes a point when you're, where you're not going to touch it anymore. And this way you can kind of see if your velvet is melted. Heat it up. A lot of times I make this before church. I mean, literally, it only t with, without me talking, it only takes just a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and see if I can show you what this looks like. You can see that it has a very watery cheese sauce on it. All right, we're going to set this back on the back of the eye. Let me get this, if I don't shake y'all too much and show you what that looks like. And it's off the heat. And we're just gonna let it sit. And it will finish cooking. It will finish cooking and, um, and like I say, when you get ready to eat, it'll have the most beautiful um, 
cheese sauce on there and uh, just let it sit. It needs to sit for a few minutes. Um, let's see if I can put y'all back on here without shaking you up. I'm sorry. You know I'm not professional. Um, my green beans are still cooking. My cornbread and okra are in the oven. And um, the macaroni's done, the boiled eggs, all I have to do, I've got to be somewhere at 11 o'clock. All I have to do when I come back, I'm just gonna leave the macaroni sitting there. I'm gonna turn the green beans off. I'll get the okra and the cornbread out and just set them on the counter. And then when I come back, I'll make the deviled eggs. So it's easy, y'all. It's so easy instead of buying a box of powdered cheese. And um, one thing I do want to say to the people that say they can't keep their sinks clean since we are doing that during the week, um, you will never keep your sink spotless during the day Yesterday, I had to um, leave early, and um, we had, I had made scrambled eggs for breakfast. So I put the, the uh, pan in the sink to, to, just to soak, and when I got home, I washed them. And, uh, but the key is when you go to bed, that's when you want your sink spotless. You want it shining, you want it clean, and you want it empty. So I hope the macaroni and cheese helped you today. I hope you try it. And like I say, when when I get back, if this has not got a good cheese sauce and it's dry looking, all I'll do is add some hot water and I'll warm it back up. And just warm, not boil. So uh, I'll show you the pictures when I get back later on.